and welcome to a very, very special Feast Number episode of Monster Cuisine. And today I'm joined by the wonderful chef, Monster Handler Charlie. Hi, everyone. And what are we going to be making today? Today we are going to be making apple crisp. Ooh, a dessert fit for a king gobbly gourd, I do believe. To make this apple crisp, you're going to need 12 apples of your choosing, four tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of nutmeg. All right, Monster Handler Charlie, you ready to chop up some apples? Yes, I am very good at cutting up apples. Perfect. So we're going to need a cutting board and a nice sharp knife. And then we've got lots of apples here. We are using some Royal Gala apples, but Those you can use whatever apples you like, really. Honestly, Royal Gala are my favorite. They are pretty delicious. So. Now I'm gonna give you this to put these slices of apple into, and you can put your cores in here once you're done. Make sure you ask an adult uh, for help if you're cutting the apples. Absolutely. Now we know some of the handler helpers out there are adults. Obviously you don't need to ask an adult for help, but if you are one of our younger handler helpers, we just don't want you to cut your little fingers. And if you are cutting this, curl your fingers in. It's a little ah, trick yes. I learned. Absolutely. So you're probably gonna wanna cut your apples about two to four centimeters or about a quarter to a half an inch. We don't want them to be too, too thin because we don't want them to get soggy. Now, how many apples are we gonna need for this? We're gonna need about 12 apples for this recipe. That's so much cutting. I know. So many apples. But they'll be so delicious. That's true. All right, so now that we have cut all of our apples into slices, we just put them into a mixing bowl and we just need to add a couple more ingredients to add for the apple crisp. So the first thing we're gonna do is add four tablespoons of just white sugar. Four tablespoons. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons and then mix it up a little bit and then we'll add the last two on there. Nice. So there we go. I'm just gonna grab a spatula to mix. All right, so we're just gonna really quickly mix up some of that sugar just to make sure that it's an even coating. And All I'll right. sprinkle in the last two tablespoons. Perfect. Do a nice heaping one. Yes, there we go. Mmm. Mix that up a little bit more. Monster Lee Charlie's throwing sugar all over the place. Can't help it. All right, so we are all done with the sugar now. We're gonna take some cinnamon and we're gonna add in two teaspoons of cinnamon. This is what gives it that real Thanksgiving-y taste, Absolutely. as well as the nutmeg. All right, so I'm gonna mix all of that up with the cinnamon. Perfect. Oh man, that looks good. All right, Montana Charlie, would you like to add a teaspoon of nutmeg in there as well? I would love to add a teaspoon of nutmeg. Perfect. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. Perfect. And we're just gonna mix all of that up nicely. Just so everything is evenly coated. It smells so good. Yeah, that actually smells amazing. Oh my goodness. I want to eat it all like this now. All right. It's one of the best parts about being on this show is you get to eat it after. It's true. All right, so once we have successfully coated our apples, we're just gonna pour those into the bed of our crock pot. There we go. And we're just gonna try to make a nice even layer of those. All right, so now that all of our apples are prepped and in the crock pot, we just wanna get our topping ready for the crisp part of the apple crisp. So Monster Handler Charlie, we're gonna need a half a cup of just all purpose flour. We're gonna put that into our mixing bowl. I'm on it. And if you make a little bit of a mess, that's okay, as long as you clean it up after. That's right. That's why you wear aprons. Yeah, I make a mess when I cook. There we go. Perfect. So there's the flour in there. Got it. And then we're going to want three quarters of a cup of both just quick oats and brown sugar. So I'm going to start with the brown sugar, I think. It's a lot of brown sugar. Sure is. I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite desserts. So good. Okay. 
And then we're gonna also add our three quarter cup of quick oats. 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 I like oats. This is gonna be so tasty. All the monster handlers are gonna love this. Oh yeah, big time. I know this monster handler will. All right, and then the last thing that we want to do is get eight tablespoons or about half a cup of butter, and we're going to just cut it into little cubes so that it's easier to mix in our oat brown sugar mixture. So I'm just going to slice this up to start. All right, so I've got the first little bit there in the bowl. We're just going to add it right into that. Cut the rest of this up. Woo! Ooh, trying doing. to get away doing some butter flips over here. You're a pro. It's not my first time around the block. All right, so let's just add all that chunked butter in here. Excellent. All right, Monster Handler Charlie. So now all we have to do is just grab maybe two forks and we're just gonna start really getting that butter in that sugar and oat mixture. I got my two forks. I'm just gonna start mixing this up. Oh yeah. Getting it all good. I gotta say, that smells pretty good too. Yeah, it does. I feel like. Look at you go, two hands really are better than one. This is, this is great. This smells so good. Just mm. wanna smush it, smush mm. it, smush it, stir it, smush it. I'm a natural. I don't know if I am. You are. You're okay. doing a great job. Now, if it gets too hard with the forks, you're going to just want to use your hands a little. It just makes it a little bit easier to mix in all of that butter. It doesn't have to be perfectly solid or anything. You just want to make sure that you get some of those chunks in there. Now that it's all mixed up, you're going to want to pour it evenly over the mixture. That is looking delectable. Spread it around. Make sure it's all even. There we go. Ooh, the monster handlers are in for quite the treat this afternoon, I That's think. That's right. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and seal the crock pot. I'm going to turn it on high for about two hours. And then you can just set it and leave it to cook for a little bit, and we'll come back and see how it turned out. All right, monster handler Charlie, so we have let our apple crisp cook for about two hours. So now we're ready to take the lid off and smell this little taste of gobbly gourd heaven. Ooh, <laughs> look oh at my God. that. It's looking pretty so tasty oh. if you ask me. Oh my gosh. So, you know, Monster Hunter, I think we've got to do a little taste of roux. Of you know course, I mean. of course. So I'm just going to go ahead and dig in here. Look at these apples. Look at this crisp. Wowie. I really do think King Gobbly Gourd would be proud. All hail for this King Gobbly Gourd. Beast Ember Treat. All right. And you know what, Monster Handler Charlie? Apple Crisp is not complete without a nice little scoop of vanilla ice cream. It's true. So I think we got to do some of that. I'll go get it. I got it. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let me get in this open. Whoa. Yep. Yep. All Perfect. right. Perfect. So let's just do a nice little scoop right on top of there. Ooh, that's a big scoop. Oh, perfect. Oh my oh, gosh. Look at that. <gasps> I'm so excited to try it. You know, I think we're gonna have to share some of this with the other monster handlers. Of course. So until next time, we're gonna have to say, Happy, Happy Monstering! monstering!